So, who was in on the pizza? Not me. I know. You've got your ham and cheese on white as usual. Yeah, how'd you know? I ordered pizza. How much do I owe you? No, don't worry about it. Hold your money. We'll figure it out later. Okay. Anybody else? Yo, I am pizza crazed. Can't wait. Love pizza. You know, that stuff has added sugars and unhealthy fats. Never mind any of that, Monica. We'll just go home tonight and practice yoga to make up for it. Funny, funny, Evan. But the truth of the matter is that yoga burns calories, increases mental clarity, and it reduces the stress that causes people to overeat. Okay, Monica, that's enough about yoga. Can't you talk about something else? Oh, I almost forgot. We got an update from Chelsea. Well, hurry up and read it for heaven's sakes. Yeah, Monica, we're dying to know what's happening. All right, all right, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. What? Who, who is Chelsea again? I forget. She used to work with us a while back, but she left after she had her second child. Yeah, but then she had a stroke, the poor thing, in the hospital, and with all those young children at home. It was, it was terrible. Now, now, Lynn, let's see what she has to say. That stroke left her in pretty bad, serious residual effects and don't usually disappear. That's right, now I remember. But she had that stroke while she was on vacation in Disney, right? In a restaurant of all places, if I remember correctly? It was terrible, just terrible. For a while we worried whether she would even make it at all. Right, right, while she was in that hospital down in Orlando. Yeah, but she did make it. Although it sounds like maybe she still got a little paralysis. The last time she wrote to us, she even said that her speech and her memory had been impaired. Oh my. That's kind of normal with a stroke, though. Hey, does anyone have a napkin? I'm making a mess here. Oh, here you go. Thanks. Or as they say in France, merci. Why do they make these sandwiches so messy anyway? Can anybody explain that? They should make the people who make them eat them. Do you guys want me to read the card or not? Yes. 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 All right, here it goes. Hey, gang. Just dropping you all a line. Things are going unbelievably well for me. I recently attended a prayer meeting with my neighbor, and you won't believe what happened. They prayed with me, and within a day, somehow, my paralysis I was suffering on my left side is gone. I have been healed from it, and I am so grateful to God and His incredible mercy. Hope everyone is well. I can't wait to catch up with all of you. I plan on stopping by later this month one day. You'll see for yourselves what God has done for me. Blessings, Chelsea. What did I just hear? Blessings? It sounded like a miracle. Oh, come on now. Let's not get carried away. No one's getting carried away here. The card says she was healed by God. No, I don't think so. Chelsea never even went to church. Let me see that card. Hmm. Prayer service. Prayed. So grateful to God. She even uses blessings at the end. I'd say it does. Imagine a miracle in 2022. Come on now, you all are being ridiculous. The symptoms just disappeared. It happens. Oh, it happens sometimes, huh? Well, it's not unheard of. Right after a prayer meeting, though? could be one of those powers of persuasion, positive thinking. I don't know. That's exactly right. You don't know. Mm -hmm. Guys, she was healed. I don't know how, but she is giving thanks to God. The ones she seems to think did it. Okay, leave it at that. Nothing wrong with giving thanks to God. Maybe some of you should try it. Good idea, Evan. Don't tell me we are going to start saying grace at lunch. <laughs> Yeah, right. Well, it's not a bad idea. Mm. As long as we're not violating any policy here at Beckman. Mm. 